throwing a punch. And so Troy Bailey gone for the rest of the afternoon. So they're going to force Oregon to try to return this ball. He's down right there. Yep, that was a good play. A good play to pin him deep. Instead of being satisfied with the ball at the 20, Patrick Johnson slips at the 2. And that was a great kickoff, wasn't it, Kenny? It was an excellent kick. You know, that ball, if he had let it drop, it might have, you know, Yeah, he had to catch it, didn't he? Back towards the, towards the Huskies. Now that they're in the shade, which is the slippery side of the field, right in front of the Husky boosters, this is as bad a position as the Ducks could possibly hope to be in. Well, Oregon is 98 yards away from the end zone. They have got their work cut out for them. And O'Neill will try to rally the troops. I tell you, I love seeing the crowd. You go from all the Ducks standing up and the Huskies sitting quiet. Now the Huskies are going nuts and the Ducks are quiet. O'Neill to throw the deep out. He's got Ricketts and he has some room to run. And he is down at the 38-yard line, Russell Hurston and Lawyer Malloy. But that is a big, big play. Sonny, you said it. The, 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 the Huskies just sat down and all the Ducks put out. <laughs> I know. The it's been of, an amazing deal. The winner of today's game will be those who are standing last. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ever standing at the end is the victor. You know, when O'Neill has dropped straight back and thrown it directly, he's had a little bit more success in the play action. Go back to the run. It's Philly up with one cut. He's unable to wait to get away from Lewis Jones. The gain of two. Second down and eight. The clock moving. Seven ten remaining in the game. The, the question might be a little bit premature at this point, but you wonder would Rich Brooks, if given the opportunity, a, a tie certainly would. Uh, a tie is just no. A tie. Uh, Oregon can't afford a tie. Remember, they have to have six division one victories to go to a bowl so the portland state victory doesn't count from that regard there's a tackle behind the line of scrimmage loss of two it's steve hoffman again and he's playing with a lot of emotion big six six guy from san jose i mentioned before the game to utah that steve hoffman does that a lot he's got he, he keeps his body low and he's able to knife through and disrupt the blocking scheme of the offensive line again that was an example of it well, this is the Husky defense's favorite down this afternoon, third down. The Ducks have only converted one time. Here comes the blitz. The out pattern caught by Patrick Johnson first down at the midfield stripe. Last week, Johnson had three receptions, all of them for 11 yards, all of them first down. And all of them on third down where he was very precise about where the first down marker was. And give Danny O'Neill credit. He's dropping straight back, deals the ball directly to the outside. That's a great catch by a freshman. Good throw and catch. You know, we were talking about, is it better to catch it with your hands in front of you or cup them, you know, pinky to pinky, as Sonny said. In that case, he, he tried to catch it just like he did on that long ball across the middle. Comes the blitz again. Here's Ricketts. And he's moving upfield. He's not to be stopped. First down at the Husky 29. Reggie Reeser and Malloy again, but Ricketts showing some strength. An impressive drive by Oregon that started at the two-yard line. Ricketts makes a great move upfield. He gets the Husky defensive back turned around thinking he's going deep, and then he breaks it off. A great one-on-one -on -one route. Under six minutes to play. Reggie Reeser, the corner, is really upset about that. Here's Whittle. Oh, again, Ken. You know, he injured his left eye. You wonder if uh, he's got all the vision back there a couple of weeks ago because that is on two plays in a row where if he had cut to the inside, he had some room to well, run. If you're Gary Campbell, the running back coach, you say, hey, this is a run right play, but take a left. I mean, that's where <laughs> yeah. that cut has been. When you get to the hash marks, turn left. <laughs> Right. Big play for the Husky defense here as well, guys. That stingy down this end of the, this neck of the woods all season. See if they can rise up and uh, give the Ducks a challenge here. Four-person rush. They go with the screen to Griffin, and oh. he is plastered by <laughs> Ink Aliaga. I mean, plastered. Well, they've worked that play a couple of times, and uh, I think Ink 
had a inkling well, that it was you'll, coming again. You look, look the where spot. the ball is spotted, where he caught it, and if we could see where he landed after the hit, it was on the 32-yard <laughs> line. That was like he stepped on a landmine. Boom! <laughs> Watch where he catches this football. Right here. So the spot is good. And he gets thrown back. It takes third down, <laughs> third and eight. O'Neal with a half roll, and now he'll keep it. He's got a chance for the first down, and a, well, a great effort. He might have it with a second effort. Let's see the spot. I think this is a left-footed spot, It's a left-footed spot. It is a left-footed spot. You can see him go in there. Lewis Jones made the tackle, but O'Neal with the second effort. It will be close. I thought O'Neal started going sideways and mm -hmm. then re realized that he needed to get upfield. Well, wow. if you're on the Oregon sideline, you're doing your best to cut a couple of the links out of the chain over there. <laughs> uh, this, this is one time in Autzen Stadium where there's no one at the concession stands and the bathrooms are empty. <laughs> they stretch them out, and it is a first down. 4-18 remaining in the football game. Washington leading 20-17, to and has this thing lived up to everybody thought it would be? No. And here's Danny O'Neill, get up field. Boom. He did, this is a tremendous effort to get that ball out there, and he took a pretty good hit. This is shades of 1988, when the Ducks had a long drive, and Terry Obi, on what they called the 49 special, ran it in from five yards out to win it. Here come the Huskies on the blitz. There he goes, Whittle into the secondary. He was almost free for a touchdown. Ink Aliaga tripped him up, or it would have been six. Russell Hairston then fell on Whittle. 346 remaining in the game. And when Ricky Whittle took that handoff, you knew that he was going to make some yards. He hit it up in there going 100 miles an hour. Game right in the teeth of the Husky defense. Watch this. Oregon offensive line, a pretty good hole in the right guard there. Whittle, just a gaping hole. Huskies lucky it wasn't for six. Second down and three. They'll go back to Whittle, and he doesn't get anything. Smothered at the line of scrimmage by David Ritchie. So that sets up the play of the game, third and three. Boy, there have been some big hits today. I know we've said that a lot, too, but uh, I'm sure glad we're up here in the box. <laughs> I'm glad you guys were, were quarterbacks and kickers. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us played on the scout team, Todd. I, I, re I relate very much with a lot of those hits. Being the hitee, not the hitor. Big time play here, Ken. See if the Huskies bring heat, force the issue. They look like it. They'll give it to the fullback, Dwayne Jones. Dwayne Jones rumbling. Dwayne Jones to the goal line and scores! him up the most unlikely of ball carriers can who fumbled last week gets his first touchdown of the season and I noticed as he was running he put his other hand on the ball he's very aware that he's had a little bit of a reputation as a fumbler perhaps Mike Bellotti looking back to how the Huskies score said hey maybe the fullback up the middle injured player for Oregon we believe it's Tossi Malapai back at the Oregon or the Washington 14-yard line, and this but Dwayne Jones, I, I can't emphasize how good that must feel to him because here's the guy that fumbled last week that led to Cal's only touchdown, and he's the guy that the pass went was deflected off of by Washington in this game that was intercepted by Reeser. Total redemption, total redemption, and again, just as Danny O'Neill got the first down, he stretches the ball. You know, the one thing I love about a game like this is that you see people play above their heads. They're laying everything out there on the field. Huskies still going to have a lot of time to have a say about the end of this game. And you have to tip your hat to Danny O'Neill in the offense. O'Neill with some big completions. This drop started at the two-yard line. They went 98 yards. So here's an, an important extra point. It could make it a four-point game. Ryan Perry Smith is the holder. The snap is good, the spot is good, and the kick is true. Well, the Huskies have 240 with which to get another score and come back 
and win this game. But right now, it's Oregon 24, Washington 20.